Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, I am off of my day job today. Took a vacation day to uh, get caught up on some uh, golf cart parts. Um, I got all the metal pieces sprayed, and I had run out of paint, unfortunately. So uh, I got two more quarts of color that I'm going to actually cocktail with a different color and make a custom mix, which it's not really that custom, it's just white, but a different white. Um, so what I'm doing today is I'm hoping, hoping to get the last of the, I should say last, a bunch more plastic done. And I also um, sanded what I had primed and uh, stuff actually came out amazingly well. There was just a few, few spots I didn't fill with the primer, so I'm going to hit it again today before I paint. So um, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Here's the hood. If you remember from one of the last videos, this was all like, if you guys ever worked with plastic before, you know what I mean when I say the plastic gets kind of hairy looking. Um, as I hoped and expected, this all sanded out. And what you're seeing in the different colors here is what I did is this actually has like three coats of surfacer and then I put a coat of sealer over the top when I sealed those pieces that I am combination respring and spring first round which I'll explain in a minute and what that does is it gives you a guide coat and it really shows you where your highs and lows are and it's plastic so I'm not I mean I'm not worried about this thing being laser straight because it's never gonna be it never was um, but all my repair areas turned out pretty nice but these areas that look like they're not sanded they are it's just where the sealer went into the lower spots. This spot here is a little low. And this spot here is a little low. Which I could put a dab of filler in there, but I'm just not going to. Uh, and then there was a spot um, right here. And a little bit right there. But everything else, all the scratches filled, as you know, you can see. It's like there was a scratch that was filled. Uh, there's some of the repair material poking through. Um, this is working out really well. And then the lower part of the front um, turned out really nice too. Now this piece didn't get hairy because I didn't get as aggressive. This one wasn't as in rough a shape. But you can see here like where the primer filled all them gouges with one coat. So now I'm going to give this like three coats and hope stuff like that will fill and stuff like that because I don't like putting body filler like actual like body filler on plastic parts I just don't um, but this piece is ready for another coat of primer okay these pieces I ran out of paint on two of these I believe it's this set right here this set does have two coats on it but um, I wasn't satisfied with what they how they turned out uh, and these two only ended up with one coat. Rookie mistake. I ran out of paint, tried to stretch it, didn't work. Um, so these are rescuffed and ready to go. And they'll only look, they will only look better because they've been rescuffed. I got a spot there, shiny, that I got to hit again with a scuff pad before I clean. And these pieces never got color. But they had overspray on them because I had a metal bracket here and a metal bracket here. Well, I just went ahead and sprayed them so all the metal was done. Um, and it is. And I put those in the uh, Iola camper for safekeeping until uh, everything else is done. Um, I still have three large pieces of plastic under that cover right there, which I don't have enough stands to work on them today. So I'm going to get this stuff done. Then I'll have I'll have stands available at that point then to uh, work on those pieces. It's, it's chilly here today in Wisconsin. Um, beautiful sunny day, but it's only about 48 degrees right now. It's about 11 now. It's about 10 o'clock, I think, in the morning. Let's see what time it is. I got to keep track on that. It is 10 o'clock on Friday morning. Um, I have a, unfortunately, I have a funeral to go to this afternoon, so my day will be cut short. Um, that's just how things go. So I'm hoping to get a couple other little things done. Um, I got my truck back and it works awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me, works awesome. I got a CD player to throw on that and a set of step bars 
to put on, but I need to repaint the brackets before I take the time to do that. I'll maybe do that in another video too. So uh, I'm just gonna wire wheel them, and I'm just gonna brush some of that on there. It's they're just steps. It's not, I'm not gonna get crazy and sandblast them and stuff. The rest of the truck's got rust on the frame too, so it's not a big deal. So on that note, I am going to rescuff what needs to be rescuffed there for shiny little spots. Get these things wiped down. What I'm going to do then is the process will be this. These two parts will get another coat of plastic adhesion promoter. And then I will hit them with surfacer. And then when I'm done with the surfacer, these pieces will get tacked very thoroughly and um, they will get... Uh, paint. I'm probably going to do this, this product works really good. It actually covers pretty nice in two coats um, But I'm probably going to give those pieces uh, Three Just to achieve the same amount of hiding and to, to match all this stuff, which it's white again. I mean It's not it's not as off-white as it maybe should have been but that's what it's going to be so um, It'll be great. It'll be fine so, okay. All right. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, we're getting pretty close um, to this one being uh, done. So that's awesome. Um, the GMC Denali pickup that I had mentioned, that is no longer coming here. Uh, it's actually at the shop that I run getting repaired. Um, and I'm okay with that um, because, as you can see, Tessie is uh, just waiting. She is just waiting. So um, I don't have any projects, any uh, any outside company, outside outside projects um, scheduled right now. This is it. Um, so I'm not. I don't have any customer work scheduled. Is what I should say uh, for myself here. Um, there might be a couple little ones that pop up here and there, but. This golf cart is the main one. Get this done, and then I'm going to enjoy summer. Um, get outside and play with the kids and just enjoy some time in the hammock and some PBRs. So, all right. Um, I will bring you probably several videos on this today and uh, maybe the step tubes. You know, we'll see. But, okay, guys. Thanks. See ya.